Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to revisit Real ID. It was passed in the United States in 2005 in response to the 9-11 attacks. And uh, several laws were passed, but this one in particular was with regard to identification of U.S. citizens for particular purposes. Not everyone must follow this, but if you are going to be involved in these particular situations, then you need to be compliant with real ID. And those situations are domestic air travel on a commercial airline, access and going into a nuclear power plant, and entering federal facilities. So those three situations, for you to go into any of those three situations, on October 2nd, 2020, you have to have a real ID. The most common real ID is how it really affects us is your driver's license because now to go on domestic commercial aircraft, you just show your driver's license. You can show your passport now and you will be able to after October 2nd, 2020, but you won't be able to just show your plain old regular driver's license. Real ID driver's license have a star in the upper right hand corner. You might have that already. This has been, the states have been going into Real ID for several years and there are only three states right now in 2019 that are not compliant with Real ID. Those are Oregon, Oklahoma, and New Jersey. So people in those three states, you need to pay attention as to when your, those states are going to start having you become Real ID compliant and then you're going to want to take your driver's license into your DMV and make that, them redo it for you with the star. You often don't think about your driver's license until it's time to renew it when it's going to expire, but this is an exception and everybody's going to need to do that if you want to use your driver's license for this purpose. You don't have to use your driver's license because you will be able to use several other forms of identification. I'll give you the list in just a moment, but the easiest one is going to be your driver's license. Now, while there are only three states that are not, com the states themselves are not set up and compliant, there are several other states that have a different type of driver's license that has a flag on it. And those states are Washington State, Michigan, Minnesota, Vermont, and New York. Washington, and these have state compliant driver's licenses. Those are the ones with the flag. All of those states have the state compliant driver's license. Washington State only has the state compliance with the flag. They don't offer the real ID. Those other states have both state compliant and real ID. State compliant, they call it also state issued enhanced driver's license. So those are acceptable as well. So you might look at your driver's license and maybe last time you renewed it, you just got the flag on the, one of those states or you have the star. You have to bring in the additional information, your birth record and or your passport to get the star. But a lot of us have those already that have been issued in the last few years. So check that. You'll want to get it done before October 2nd, 2020. If you don't have your driver's license compliant with Real ID by that date, here are other forms of acceptable ID under Real ID. As I said a moment ago, the U.S. passport, the U.S. passport card, DHS, Department of Homeland Security, trusted traveler card, and there are four different kinds. There's global entry, nexus, sentry, and fast. Any of those will work. Department of Defense identification, U.S. Merchant Marine credentials will work. A permanent resident card, if you're not a U.S. citizen, that will work. Border crossing card, which some states' citizens have those to go when they go back and forth to work. Then there are certain Canadian documents and certain Native American documents that will, that will work. And so your communities will have that information. 
Kids under 18 who are traveling with a companion do not need any separate ID. 27% of people are compliant or have the ID driver's license now. So please check yours and go see if yours is compliant. And if it's not, make those arrangements. You've got roughly a year to do that. You cannot use a temporary driver's license and you cannot use a weapons permit to comply with real ID. So you have to have those other documents that I mentioned. Now, if you show up to the airport and you don't have your, if your, your license or your passport is lost or stolen and you're getting ready to board a plane, plan for two hours to be there in advance because the TSA has a separate identification verification procedure they're going to have to employ and that could take a while. If they do verify your identification, then you'll be subject to additional screening. I was not able to get the information as to whether or not they give you some type of a document so that if you're leaving on an outbound flight, you can use that again to come back. Or if this is just if you've already left and you were using your license or your passport and lost it and now you want to get home. So I'm not sure about that. We'll try to see what other information we can get on that and share it with you. But just be aware that if you are not Real ID compliant by the time the law goes into effect, October 2nd, 2020, then you're going to have these other issues. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up or if you learned something, share any comments or questions below. Subscribe to see the other videos. Come back and see me next time. Thanks for watching.